guys. I didn't see you there. I was just figuring out what I'd look like if I were part of a fake flower bush, part of a fake rose bush, and this is what I would look like. And look, if I were part of a fake rose bush, but also wearing stupid glasses, I had to open these up with, this is what I'd look like. I think it's a good look, what do you think? And now I'm going to remove these from my shirt because there's fake flower stems in my bra, which is uncomfortable. You might think it's comfortable, but it's not. I don't know what kind of rose bush would have fake flowers growing from it, but should I leave? This This is how they wear them in France when they take showers. Anyway, what's up, you guys? It's Sunday, Sunday daily vlog day. Um, I've been debating whether to do these on the weekend or not. However, they are called right now the Daily Allison, and not any Monday through Friday bull crap, because if that was that, then they'd be called the Monday through Friday Allison, which is be hard to Twitter because it's long. In fact, Twitter is one of the things we're going to be talking about with today's special guest. Um, but first, I want to tell you, last night I went to Caroline's um, to see Doug Benson perform. It was Doug Benson, Tony Kameen, Ali Wong, um, and Graham Elwood. And they were all super duper funny. Um, and then I shared a cab home with Tony Kameen, and he showed me pictures of his miniature schnauzer, which is white. Uh, I didn't even know they come in that color, um, but a racist. And it's really cute, and it just reminded me how much I need to get a dog. Um, also, something that I thought was interesting. Do you guys, I don't, if you're old, then perhaps you remember Steve Isaacs, the VH1 MTV VJ. Um, so recently, when I was uh, out with Doug Benson and a group of people, uh, Steve Isaacs came up, and like they bonded over their shared love of musicals and whatnot. Um, and then I quietly was like, is that the VJ guy? Because he looks too young to be him. But it is him. And so I recounted to him the story of in high school, two of my friends and I went to see Nirvana, Pearl Jam, and Red Hot Chili Peppers at some giant place. And he was there, and all of a sudden my two best friends got up and disappeared because they had to go follow him around. That's how much they liked him. And then last night he was there again, and because I believe he might smoke pot, um, I got to recount the story for him again! <laughs> but to his credit, he had different things to say about it this time. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we should just get right into the guest. It's Matt Nathanson, who is someone I went to college with. Um, and now he's all, like, famous and shit. So, let's call him. And apparently he's sick, too, right now. With some, I don't know what. Virginia Beach. I need better answer. Hello. Matt Nathanson? Oh my god, yes. Hello! You don't even sound sick even though you said you were sick. No, I'm just pretending uh, that it's allergies only. You know what I mean? I'm not sick. Right. Like well, it's a good thing you aren't like a singer or performer or anything. No, yeah, it's fun. Yesterday was Virginia Beach and uh, my voice kind of shit the bed right after the set, and then I'm in Charlotte tomorrow, so we'll see how it works. I can always pull, like, a little Barry White action, a little phone sex, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just have... Ooh, rough and tumble in the sheets type. That's right. Now, you are someone who is swarmed by fans before, after, and during your show. Um, when you are trying to... Like, the, like they jump up on stage during the show. It's like a Morrissey concert. Yeah. <laughs> jump up with their pompadours and, like, hit me with flowers. Right. And their pompadours are all greasy and then stuff probably, like, that, that you get the grease from their pompadour, pompadour on you and then, like, stuff probably sticks to you so you probably, like, accrue glitter and, and lint and whatnot. Yeah. Like, I get pollen, apparently, which heads back to this whole thing about my allergies. Pollen? Yeah. You should not have so many, um, fresh flowers in the audience. You should institute some kind of policy. So, um, so, uh, so what should we talk about? Should we talk about the fact that you're super famous and that I knew you back when, or should we talk about your hatred of Twitter? 
I don't hate, I mean, I, don't, I, I guess I said I hated Twitter. I just, uh, I don't know. I think Twitter is terrible. Why? Because I don't want to know. I guess if there's certain people I've seen, like, there's one that Aaron, my guitar player, has, uh, goes to Glenn Danzig. It's like Glenn Danzig. It's like words of wisdom, but not from Glenn Danzig, but based around Danzig. Okay. That shit's funny, man. I like that. But having someone be like, I pooped today. It was in the shape of a coral reef. I would love that. I no, can't stand that. I think that because people are already so removed from their own lives that Twitter just allows them to, like, completely separate either by giving a running commentary or by, like, reading other people's running commentaries. Oh, yeah, it's true. I mean, but I think Facebook does that, too. It's like, we don't have to communicate. Now I can just sort of monitor what everyone's doing. And, I, yeah, I know that, like, if I'm Twittering something as it's happening, I'm all I'm doing is Twittering. Yeah, I'm, it's not I happening. It's bad for our, like, I think it's bad for humans. But, I mean, and Facebook's... But it's you know, great for computers. Less, yeah, but it's a little, Facebook's a little less gross because it sort of like can exist as like a place to put pictures or post things that people can read later. But Twitter's all about like the, oh my God, this is what's happening right now, totally. Uh, oh my God, it's amazing, you know, I'm, it, it, I hate it, I hate it. And it's like, I'm sure at some point, I mean, that's what I'm saying, some people use it for funny shit, but I just think it kind of sucks. I don't, and plus, I don't want to fucking know about anybody's life. And the parts of me that want to know about other people's lives is the loser, weak part of me that sucks. So I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Just Fine. Just through it here. If I poop in a coral reef formation, I won't tell you. But I'll tell the rest of my Twitter followers. Well, that's what I'm saying, dude. They want to know, apparently. I tend they, to avoid... They, is they get, they, they've been, like, dying to get, like... You know how Play-Doh used to have those attachments so you could make things in shapes? Yes. Like, you're, the people that read your Twitter want to make sure that, you know, how did you do that naturally with your anus? Right, right. You didn't, you didn't use, like, a, um, when you make cookies, what are those called? Those things that shape the cookies? I'm very oh, domestic. Cookie, cookie shape makers? No, there's a, a name. Cookie puncher cutouts. Cookie forms. Cookie sure, stencils. So, oh, maybe it's like, is it, maybe it's like... Cookie stencils? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's right on the tip of my... Dental baby monkey farts, that's what they're called. They kind of have a long name. I know, I know. It's sometimes, it's, but it's so fun to say, you know. Stencil baby monkey farts. For Christmas, yeah, like, for, like Christ look, for no, Christmas, totally. look what I made you with a stencil baby monkey fart. As I'm talking to you, I'm going through your Twitter, <laughs> and there's pictures, and then I see you, and, uh, amazing, there you are again. Standing next to Pat Kiernan. Yeah, do you know who that is? No. Oh. Um. Like they, like he would. He looks a little bit sort of satanic. Yeah, he's a, he's an anchor on New York One. So we're gonna run out of time in a second, but first I just have to ask because it relates to what I was saying earlier. Do you remember Steve Isaac, the BJ from MTV? Yeah, yeah, he fronted a band called The Panic Channel with uh, Dave Navarro and Eric Avery, right? Or Oh, I don't know. Are you thinking of Jesse Camp? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I yeah, I don't know. I just he's like a a Broadway musical dude now, I think. Yeah, he was a good-looking kid. I thought. Back then. Yeah, yeah, he's still he's attractive. He has multicolored hair. Um, well, damn, Matt Nathanson, we we have run out of time. Um, wait, wait, you just totally like name dropped Steve Isaacs and then there was nothing there's no like attachment oh there is it's in the beginning of my vlog when I just do chatter of from my day I had a story from him about last night you go, you'll have to watch I'll watch it I'll watch it okay yeah. so are you mattnathanson.com I mean like emotionally no <laughs> I think I, I'm broader than that yeah but, but cyber wise you are me yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I am going to um, catch up with you after this so that we can actually catch up. Okay, I'm down with that. Okay, bye, Matt Nathanson. Thank you. Okay, bye, Austin Rosen. Bye. So that was Matt Nathanson. Check him out. He's got grassroots in a following form. And I can't believe I can't remember the name of those cookie shapers. <laughs> How retarded I've become. Sorry if that word is offensive. How forgetful I've become. Okay, I love you guys. See you Monday, which is tomorrow.